it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2021 Escape Titanium in carbonized gray. You have black and sandstone leather trim seats, seating for five, four doors and a hatch with a two liter EcoBoost engine paired with four cylinders and it is an automatic transmission with all wheel drive. You also have navigation, reverse camera, as well as a trailer tow hitch and many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a two liter four cylinder engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. Door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. The audio system is badged with the B&O sound system. You have memory for three drivers, and the driver's seat is powered with lumbar. And you have this nice ebony and sandstone leather trimmed seats, all weather mats on the floor, and you have the lift gate release, lighting controls. And then on the face of the steering wheel, we have our lane keeping, as well as cruise control, your volume, your menu, and your hands-free dialing, and there's the heads-up display. So when we start up the vehicle, we just push a button. Our foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and on the dash, any important messages will appear, and there's your heads-up display coming up, and that will display the speed that you're going as you start moving. And in the center, we have our display screen. So we're on the home here. We can go into audio, and I need to turn down the volume touch on the screen we can go into sources AM FM Sirius satellite radio as well as Bluetooth we also have navigation and so the map will come up for that we choose our destination we can go into settings and slide through for different options so Bluetooth Sirius XM Ford pass connect your phone Wi-Fi general display you can actually change the look of your display screen automatic updates navigations there and when you put the vehicle in reverse this is where we're gonna see our backup camera view so right off the back here the center line and we have a trailer tow hitch on this vehicle so that center line is really handy to hook up to anything green yellow red is just telling us how close we are or uh, to other vehicles or objects and I'm gonna put us back into park just for safety's sake, volume and tuner, hazard lights, and we've got the dual climate control, dual heated seats, and your fans located in the center here. You've got a heated steering wheel, AC and max AC, your front and rear defrost. Down below, we have the USB-C, USB, and 12 volt, and I can't see if this has got a wireless charging pad. I believe it does. You have your dial shifter, electronic parking brake, auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing, you can press the auto hold, this will hold you in place. These are our eco modes, our, our, um, our drive modes. So there's normal, it appears on the dash as we press through and the icons will change. So there's eco, we have sport, slippery, deeps or snow sand assist, and then back around to normal. So depending on the road conditions and the weather conditions, you can change the drive mode to adapt and help with control. And we also have our parking assist, as well as auto stop start for less idle time. We have parking sensors, couple of cup holders. Those rings are the ambient lighting. We can open up our armrest, lots of room in there. You even have place for a pin. Off to the side is your glove compartment. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror, universal garage door opener. Our lighting controls are located here. We have a sunglass holder and we have power screen as well as power moonroof. This is a panoramic Vista moonroof. Look how nice and blue the skies are today, just gorgeous. And so we can press that and add in air and open it up. As well, we can move the screen around to close up or open up even more. So we've got the grab handle on the side and we're ready to go. 18 inch wheels, mud flaps, body color door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad. Driver side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. In the rear, there's a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper and below your escape badge is where your backup camera's located. Backup sensors on your bumper and you also have a trailer tow hitch. When you're ready to open up that lift gate, all you have to do is double click your fob. It'll power it open for you and I probably have had it changed in the settings so I'm just going to open it up here and that was just pushing the button under the handle and you also have hooks off to the side, lots of room back here. There's a 12 volt on the left and extra carpeted mats with the Escape logo on it and underneath we have our spare tire. There's hooks and tabs to be able to tether things. And then when you're ready to close it up, there's a handle on the right, but you can also press the button on the right side 
and it'll chime, go down easily for you, and then you can lock it up and walk away, or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Speaker in the door, as well as power windows. There's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. When you want to bring that seat down, you simply pull the lever at the base of the seat, and it'll come right down for you. You now have access to the back cargo area. Those are carpeted mats that are located there in the bag. Anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats. And then just give it a push back into the upright position. You notice the seat belt minders are located here. That keeps the seat belt out of the way when you're putting the seat up and down. There's an armrest in the center with a couple of cup holders, a weather mats on the floor and swim pockets on the back of the front seat. In the center is air vents and down below USB-C and USB, a nice twin panel moonroof and you've also got hooks and handles off to the side. Water hitch in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, front sensors and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments. Comments.